Hey Sarah, math or science, top pick? Johnny, you know, math and science really go hand in hand. I couldn't choose between them. Hot take. I mean, it's a take. Yeah, fair enough. Wait, hold on, hold on. Are we on right now? And welcome to the Help Your School News Show. Where we tell you everything you need to know about helping your school through the Boosterthon program. It's time once again. This just in a heartwarming story about students working together to help their school. At a local school, one student was so passionate about raising funds to improve his playground that he got his fellow classmates together and he decided to make it happen. Pretty soon, everyone in the school joined in the cause and little by little, they started raising funds to improve their playground. Then, when the time had come, because the whole school had taken part in this effort, they raised the funds and they built that playground. Wow. This truly could be everyone's story. That it could, Jay. That it could. You too can rally together to help make your school even better. Now, it may not be a playground, but there are tons of ways you can help your school. And to encourage you to keep pressing on and never give up, we gotta get to today's character video. Another installment of Sports City Worldwide. Roll it! All right, we'll do. Gabby, any update on the ratings? That was the network. Numbers are looking really good, but we need one more good story to really seal the deal. Perhaps we should say look who's name and he'll magically hear us and he'll finally- Show off. What does the next riddle say? Should be the last one. In the place where lions roam, there you'll find your next film's home. It may feel like a safari. If you tarry, you'll be sorry. Safari. Safari, it, it's gotta be Kenya. Kenya. Gabby, Gabby, I've solved it. I figured out who Laku really is. Welcome back to Sports City Worldwide for our final segment. This film is about a long distance runner who knows how to run with endurance. Enjoy. Meet Patience, a 14 year old runner who lives in Iten, Kenya. Iten is a small village high in the mountains of Africa. Kenyan runners are known for their endurance, which is why they hold many of the fastest world records and win the biggest races. In running, endurance means you keep going even when you want to stop. You need to be able to train hard to be able to endure. Patience goes to school near a training center for runners. People from all over the world come to here to learn how to run better. Patience runs for her school team and frequently competes against other teams. One time, Patience competed in a regional championship race. Before the race, she was very nervous. She wanted to win, and she knew she would need endurance to not stop running even when she wanted to. Suddenly, the whistle blew and the runners were off. In the middle of the race, Patience got very tired. But she knew someone was behind her, so she kept running. She crossed the finish line and won. For Patience, being a good runner is all about having endurance. She hopes to be a famous runner one day, so she's constantly working on building up her endurance. She also practices endurance by helping her family. On the weekends, she gathers firewood, cleans up, fetches water, and washes clothes. Sometimes she gets tired, but like running, she doesn't stop until she's finished. To patience, endurance is all about not giving up even when things get tough. Patience runs with endurance. What? Can it just uncover who, look who is? I will not be able to sleep tonight. And welcome to the Tonight Show. 
No, no, no. We don't have time for that. Oh, right, 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 right. We're gonna have plenty of time to find out who... Look who... Really is. But right now, you are on a mission to help your school. That's right, and we're almost there. Only a couple days left to help your school. You got this. And I personally can't wait for tomorrow. I'm Sarah. And I'm Johnny. Good night, everybody. Good morning, Kootenai Pirates, and happy Monday. I hope all of you enjoyed your weekend. If you got pledges over the weekend, you will be getting a boomerang, zoomerang bonus prize along with your prizes today. Thanks to everyone who did. We are up to 62% of our school registered. You guys, we're only 13% away from meeting our school-wide goal of 75% registration. Keep up the great work there. We have raised $10,574. We have $8,000 to go, less than that, $7,500 roughly. Before our fun run on Friday, I am so excited for that. The grade that has the most new pledges by tomorrow will be able to wear your favorite sports apparel on Wednesday. So the grade that has the most new pledges by tomorrow morning gets to wear sports gear to school on Wednesday. That's exciting. I can't wait to see who that is. All right. For lunch today on Monday is a hamburger. Choice today is yogurt, string cheese, and crackers. And we will be eating lunch outside today. It's going to be a beautiful day. So we will have outside lunch today. Shout out to Mrs. Lizy. She is the best teacher in the world. And I am so glad she is my teacher from Ariana. And shout out to Mrs. Rogat from Hallie. She's the best sixth grade teacher. Those were some awesome shout outs and totally spot on. All right, Kootenai Pirates, let's have the best Monday ever. You may now stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. 